Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop the clock. Let's go, baby. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to We Got a Case. Um, So, kind of in a pickle right now. This is what's going on. There's a case being heard as we speak in Judge Manning's courtroom. It's a doozy. It is beyond a doozy. Um, It's an NFL player, Mr. Uh, Flannerin over here. Finneran, or the hell you want to call? We'll call him Brian. Brian here has been having an affair for four and a half years with this worman, Shannon over here. He's easy on the eyes. I will say that. I'm gonna say it now. Um, so there's been a whole bit. I've recorded the entire thing, and tomorrow morning I'm gonna. We will literally watch the entire thing, top to bottom, and dissect it, if you will. But for right now, we're going to join the case. I'm, I'm hoping we'll be won't be uh, stepped away very long. And they're at the point of either they're going to decide to let this happen and move forward with the TPO, or they're just going to throw it out. Well, you got to remember, Brian is asking for this TPO against Shannon because his wife found out. He was, you know, up to no good. He was out hanging and banging, just like our friend Fred Franklin. Hallelujah for the 10 somethings. (laughs) Funny money. I'll take it. Fred, I'll get you on that Monte monorail. But we're, we're, we're knee deep in this case. I mean, literally knee deep in this case. So we're going to probably watch the rest of it if it continues. If not, Judge Manning will probably call another case, and we'll move on to that. But it it really boils down. He's tried to make a case that she's stalking him. That she's, you know, giving him uh, the business, so to say. Oh, only 30%. Oh, wow. That is a hell of a deal. So we're going to stay here. We're going to stay with this. We're going to see if they allow it to continue and allow her to testify. Because I have a feeling what she has to say is going to be just awesome. Uh, I feel like this guy's a real D bag for what he's done. He's, he's basically, uh, he's basically, uh, you know, he's a, a big shot. He's got monies in the bank. I looked it up. Says so he's worth about 10 million bucks. So I could see why he's, uh, you know, doing whatever his wife said. And at one point, and we'll listen carefully tomorrow when we watch the entire case. It, You can hear whispering. Yeah, he, he's acting like he was been forced into everything. He's like six, five. And this lady's like five foot two. You can hear whispering. So. I'm pretty sure his wife is right there telling him what to say, like helping him out, which is amazing. There's been tons of technological issues with this case. Uh, The attorney definitely could not figure out how to work the Zoom call. Robert, good to see you, bud. Uh, Today uh, is bound to be a better day. I only got three shows today, so hopefully uh, it'll be a slow and easy rolling into the weekend. But, uh, oh, Diddlin. Oh, Diddlin. Thank you, Kev. Clarification. So we're just going to kind of ride back right now and, and wait and see what happens. Because, like I said, this has been amazing so far. Amazing. Great stuff. Uh, yeah, me too. I'm ready to chill. These lawyers, especially his lawyer, he is a terrible lawyer. 
this lady is, I mean, she's pro- maybe very good at points, but today she is, she has just not been doing well. Hey, I looked, I could not find you banned anywhere. I looked all through everything. I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, we're going to watch it top to bottom tomorrow. We'll we'll really break it down. We'll have to find out now what Judge Manning has to say. Right, she back here. Are we going to continue or is she going to throw it out right now? A lot of... Uh, a lot of bad stuff. So Mr. Uh, Brian is also in radio. He's been working in radio and like sports radio. And having worked in radio, women do, you know, come on to you. They, you know, if you're in radio, you're probably had a few offers. But that's not, Given this guy permission to do this, I mean, he's just out there. He's been, and it wasn't like it was a one time thing. They even brought up that one time recently where he had been in a hotel room with his wife. And when his wife left the hotel room, he messaged her to come over and have sex while his wife was gone out of the room. This dude's insatiable. Or either Miss Shannon is amazing in the boudoir. Anything's possible. I'll be Joshin. Uh, we'll, I'll know better. I'm going to guess. Might have to do pretty early because I'm going to a hockey game tomorrow. Um, Toy Maneda. I'm going to guess we're going to probably bust it out. Well, I'm glad you're here. Friday, baby. Um, I'll probably start around noon Eastern tomorrow so I can give it time and get it done and give it the the time it needs. Because, like I said, this this case is, is a doozy. Uh, a lot of moving parts. Yeah, you know, I, I felt like maybe Miss, uh, you know, Shannon here would have left her husband if, Brian would have I'm said, sorry, Your Honor, I'm it. back. Thank you. That's okay. All right. I'm going to uh, grant the director verdict against Mr. Fetterman, but we'll bring Ms. Fetterman in and hear from her. All right. So this is his they wife. His wife has a TPO, too. says is her directly, not have anything to do with him. Right. Mr. Fetterman's yes, Judge, wife um, has a TPO a uh, Temporary file. restraining of violence. Uh, a family violence or a violence restraining order may not have been the best selection. Um, mm, cookies. Or I think she's logging in here. I need a Her box of cookies. Aaron. That'd be awesome. Erin. Thank you. Okay, she's logging in right now. Connecting the audio. I would just argue, Your Honor, that never mind. Um, I go I will all talk night, to baby. Mr. Fennerin about uh, his various options with different kinds of restraining orders after we hear from Miss. I don't know. Fennerin. And so, Judge, do you want to reserve the issue of fees for after Ms. Finneran's hearing? Sure, we'll hold that at the end. All right, okay. Ms. Um, Ms. Finneran, you have to see your face. Yes. There you go. You've been previously sworn, so go ahead, Ms. Biden. Okay, thank you, Ms. Finneran. Um, would you please state your name for the record? Who's hotter? The, take stuff off the, the mistress or the wife? Get your vote in now. Apologize. Aaron Finneran? And how old are you, Miss Finneran? Too old. Forty-seven. Oh, that's just right. And do you how, do you know um, Miss Shannon, Shannon Swanick? Um, I don't. I don't know her. The first time I saw her was when she came to my home. But do you know uh, of the her call. relationship with Mister Finneran? I do now. Okay. And can you tell the court the first instance where you? Came in contact with Miss Finneran. With Miss Wanick? Um, I'm sorry, Miss Finneran, oh, when you first came in contact with Miss Wanick. The, the May slip. 24th, 2022. Okay, and can you tell the court what happened on that date? Um, yes, I had a knock at my door. My dog started barking like crazy. Um, my husband had just actually left 
maybe Husband five minutes prior like with his friend too. to go to the Braves game. And um, I had was exhausted. It was field day at school and I'm a school nurse. So I had been on the hot turf all day with my little youngins and um, hear this knock at the door, just walk over. I'm like, what's going on? And um, there's a lady standing at my door when I answered it. Um, and she said, um, she's standing there kind of rocking back and forth. And she's like, do you know where your husband is? And I said, um, I'm sorry, what? I said, she said, do you know where your husband is? And I think I might have said something like the Braves game or, and she's like, and then I said, are you, I said, um, she says, okay. no, she said, yeah. sorry. What is Miss? What do you, do you need, Mr. Fetterman anymore? Because he's walking around, or he's got a camera off. If he's going to be here, he's going to turn his camera. Off. I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay. Go ahead, ma'am. Um, oh, one hundred percent. So she said, "Do you know where your husband is?" And I'm kind of standing there, like, "What is going on?" And I said, "I don't know." I said, "What's what? What?" I said, "Do I know you?" And she said, um, "She says your husband." I know. I said he's at a Braves game. She says, "No." your husband's in a hotel right now, fucking a golf pro and I'm pissed. And I stood there and I, I literally thought this person's just at the wrong home. Um, what I didn't realize is my son was walking up the steps, hearing the dogs barking and wow. stood in the hallway and wow. heard every single thing that this lady said. And his initial thought is when he starts hearing this person ranting about, wow. and then she says, I had a, cause I had a four and a half year, Fair, or I've been in a relationship with your husband for four and a half years and I'm pissed. He's in there, you know, he's fucking a golf pro right now in a hotel. And his initial thought was she's probably talking about um, uh, Chris Moore that who's was just at the house and left with Brian to go to the Braves game. And I'm literally standing there going, this person has the wrong house. I said, I'm sorry. I said, I don't, I think you have the wrong house. I said, do you, she goes, no. I said, do you know me? She says, you're Aaron. Your husband's Brian. I'm Shannon. And I've been having an affair with your husband. So she, I'm sitting there. She is going, ballsy. What is happening? Then she starts going into details that she is talking about Brian. He works for 680. She just came from the Deborah golf tournament. That they, they hook up in the parking structure of the hotel that at, she goes to the golf tournaments. They've hooked up on golf courses. She's gone down to Braves fantasy camp to um, gone down to Braves fantasy camp. It's a real fantasy um, camp. And met Brian down there twice. She says the year that you didn't go, she went the year before and the year after. Yikes. Um, she just went into all kinds of detail. And I'm literally in shock. I'm holding on to the door and I'm trying to kind of like close the door a little bit, standing there. And, um, and then I just looked at her. I said, I, I'm like in shock right now. I don't even know what to think. And then she's like, uh, like demeanor changes. She says, I just want to give you a hug. And so Ooh. I put my hand up. I was like, no. And, um, then she's going on and she was, is there anything else you want to know? And I said, I don't even, I'm like in shock right now. I don't even know how to process this. I don't know what's happening. And I said, I, I don't know. I said, I think you need to go. I think you need to go. Um, I could I tell, she, or to me, she appeared to be a little intoxicated. Um, and so and she's kind of swaying back and forth. And, oh, she had also told me before this, she says, I want to call, call him, call him right now. I said, I'm not going to do that. She insisted again when I was like, I think you need to go. She says, I want you to call him. I want you to call him. And I said, no, I'm not going to do that. I, I think you need to go. You need to go. And this went on not for 45 minutes. It was about 20 to 30 minutes. Like she was hammer. out there. And the only reason I say that is Brian had just left like five to 10 minutes prior to her getting here. And by the time I did call Brian, he was in the brave stadium. So it takes at least 35 minutes to leave our house and get into that stadium. But I mean, the whole thing is kind of a blur. Um, I do recall what I'm hugs. saying for sure, but it was, I mean, my whole, I literally felt like tingly, numb, just, I had, I, I had no idea what was going on. So then she's kind of still staying around. I said, I, I need you to go. And she says, no, Sorry. you call him, you call him right now. And I said, I'm not going to do that. You need to go. And then she, so she walks down the steps, starts going down the path. 
Gary. And she's like, no, I want you to call him. I said, I'm not going to call him. And I said, you know, you asked me if there's anything else that I want to know. I said, I want to tell you, you know what? Don't, don't contact my husband anymore. Do not come to my home. Who's handsome. And leave my family alone. And she says, I'm not going to do that because I love him. I'm not going to do that because I love him. Oh, by the way, a million times she says, um, he sure loves you. He loves you, but he loves me too. He sure loves you, but he loves me too. And she's just like going on with this whole thing. And I'm literally just standing there. I don't even know what I look like because I, I couldn't even almost feel my body. I just, this was happening. So she goes down the pathway. I shut the door. I walk around the corner. There's my son standing there. And I said, oh my God. I said, Connor, did you hear what just happened? He said, yes. Objection, your honor, you're saying? You're on mute, Ms. Glenn, but just, I don't need to hear what the child said. Yeah, you, okay. can't, yes, you can't talk about what he said. Understood. Sorry. They, they want it bad. Right. And what happened? I mean, is, was that the end of the altercation at that time? Yes. Okay. How did it make you feel? Awful. It was... Amazing story. It, it, it felt aggressive. It felt... Um, I mean, oh, I, what I didn't mention is she's also telling me about she went to this golf tournament the day before and Brian wouldn't come, didn't, she got a hotel room and she's in the hotel room crying that he's not, he won't come and I'm crying and I want to kill myself. She said that a couple of times. I actually told her, I said, well, there's numbers you can call. And I said that at the end of the there's numbers you can here, call school nurse dealing with, you know, all kinds of stuff. I said, there's numbers you can, if you really feel that way why I'm giving her advice to keep, you know, you know, and it's just, she oh, kept saying awesome. things that are almost like, as if I'm supposed to be like, God, I'm so sorry. He stood you up and doesn't want to see you anymore. Like, I, I don't, I don't really know what her point was. It was just very aggressive. It was, I mean, like, this is what she always said she was going to do. Like you, you don't play my game. I'm coming to your wife. Or I'm I'm coming to your work. I'm coming to your bosses, and I'm going to tell them everything. So she felt she Ugh. followed through with it, and um, okay, yeah. So um, now, um, did admittedly did she bother you um, over the next few months? Did she? Do I never. Anything? I never heard from her ever until December sixth. Okay. And so did you possibly think that maybe she was out of your, sorry, I can, I know you see that judge. I'm about to open up this portion of the screen. Everybody. And did, um, <laughs> did you basically think that she was she, out of your life or hope so? She's so inept. Uh, certainly hope so, but didn't really think so because, um, she did, you know, I'm, this rocked my world. I've been with my husband since we were 15 years old. I've never been with anybody else in my life. I oh, have I'm so my sorry best to hear friend, that. My dog, I mean, this shocked the hell out of me. And it was obviously very traumatic. It was awful. It's been an awful road. Can, you know, we're still continuing to try and work. We have four children, two grandchildren. We're True. in couples therapy, other therapy. You know, we we're doing all these things and she still keeps reaching out to Brian in all these different regards. And of course, Brian's telling me when it's happening, you know, like he's being completely honest with everything. It's, um, you know, there wasn't anything, any secrets kept as far as that. Once this, the cat was out of the bag. So we just kind of were almost just still all hoping that it would go away. Um Brian did think about talking to an attorney and talking to a therapist. He did think about doing a temporary protection order, but we kept hoping not to have to just. Your Honor, do I'm going to object to anything. Your Honor, I'm just, just, just going to object to anything. If I can finish my objection, please. Oh, sure. Um, I'm going to object to any testimony by Miss Finneran as to how Brian felt, what Brian thought, what Brian did. She can't speculate as to those things. I'll sustain. Miss Finneran, just talk about. Just you and Miss uh, Swanick. Now remember, oh, Brian okay. used to play in so, the NFL well, and's got about ten million in the bank. Am I okay to say because of those interactions and what was happening, and it wasn't hearsay like I saw them or heard them or 
that I so felt he just, like he showed you a tick. That's not so that's here. So that was between the two of them. Right. So I, I physically saw the evidence okay. of them, the emails and what are we looking at? Right. And then in the did. letter. No, yeah. no, it wasn't to you. So that's hearsay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I see what you're saying. I thought you were asked. Okay, so it's hearsay, but even though I physically saw it, okay, I got it. And yeah, he's saying these are the only two women he's ever had sex with. Allegedly. Are you talking? I can't hear. Yes, you. I'm sorry. Um, so what happened on uh just generally tell before i get into the details what when was the next communication you had from her so on december 6th i was at work and i actually was sending a text message it happened to be to brian and on the top there's an incoming call and it was shannon and i actually had forgotten i had put her contact in my phone i had just to have, because I had to get contacts off Brian's phone. I got a new phone and I'm like, I'm going to put this in here in case I ever need it. So it actually startled me when it said Shannon 680 show visit and it's an incoming call. So I snapped a screenshot and was like, is she calling me? What's happening? Then a couple minutes later, that was funny. I started, I got nine photos that were pictures of either the journal entries, some screenshots, some hot uh, nudes messages from her. No. And then I was getting also text messages that she had typed out to me. And then that continued throughout that entire day. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Now I am going too. to. Was that De December the 6th? He was a wide receiver, I believe. Dinner December 6, 2022. Played for the Eagles, the Falcons, I think the Seahawks, and he played Thank over you. in Barcelona for the Dragons. Um, so I'm, and I'm at work. Like I said, I am a school nurse. So I've got kids from the age of three to 19. Good job, Robert, by the way. And she knows that I'm a school nurse. And she, the fact she chose to send all of this, these pictures and journal entries and bizarreness and details it was absolutely like put me i was it was like put me in a panic yeah. i just was in shock i, remember I that. didn't understand why she was doing this what her intent was except i mean i've never wanted someone to hurt me so bad in my whole life i just felt it was it was absolutely awful like i was struggling to stay at work what are we she's trying to figure out how to share what are we doing lady get it together can go i ahead. okay go ahead and talk about so samson one of the first on? ones that you received okay now i finally so got at, at nine like i said at, at 9 54 i got nine pictures and it was journal entries judge um, objection I, I okay just i'm like, about to bring those up Thank i feel, like, Ms. I feel like Ms. Pinner is made. looking at something in her hands if she's not i just can't see them i want to make sure that she has like mr finneran no paperwork no documents oh. she, can't, she can't have anything in front of her you can't look at it Ms. finneran okay you have to look at the exhibits Ms. Biden puts up I oh it i apologize it could be turned yeah. over and removed from the room that would be great okay Yeah, the guy was doing that too. Well. Brian was yes, looking at papers while he was testifying as well. <laughs> you know, <laughs> judge is actually letting this kind of play out a little bit. Uh, not too long ago. Sort of this portion sharing judge and just I'm guessing because for some reason early two thousands. You could look him up. Plus, he's work. I guess he's working for like ESPN Chris, is or something. Maybe shot with doing radio. No, with, I'm gonna get it this time because I had it all working. And I'm saying, but I've got it right here if needed. What did you? Well, have I'm on gonna your start channel? from the beginning. Lots yes, of? if you wanna. 
because I know what she was describing. I don't know that I have right. everything, but I, I have that. I'm going to figure it out, Flush. I'm not letting this slide. I'm just downloading it. Oh, yeah. Big ones. Start over with share screen. I don't mean the pictures were big. I mean them. Is this what you're talking about? Yes. That's, well, that's like the first. Yes. Yes. Um, it's, it's, was, this is several pages long. Yes. Yeah, so the if you go back to the journal entry that you. Um, I was just going to go to the first picture. So there's that. that calling in. That was the call. And then it's the picture of the nine. So just, Judge, I'll need this in as evidence before she testifies to it. Yes. Okay. Play for a couple teams. Fun. Yes, Your Honor. Um, Ms. Wanick, um, do you recognize this set of texts? Are you asking Ms. Wanick or me? I mean, Ms. Kenneran, I'm sorry. Do you okay. recognize this from Ms. Wanick? Yeah, that's from my phone. Okay. And um, the name that says Shannon, who does that refer to? And how do you know that it's uh, Ms. Wanick? It was the contact that I took from Brian that he had told me that this was her phone number. Okay. And so, when, and where were you at the time of this, um, of these tax messages? Terrible attorney. I was in the school clinic at Notre Dame Academy. Okay. And what is, again, your position there? School nurse. Okay. And so how many children do you take care of at that school? Your Honor, like I'm said, objecting yeah. to relevance. That has nothing okay. to do with this case. I think that I can, I will make, Your Honor, if you'll give me a second, I yeah, will. This just, just well. was like, so, I mean, why does that matter? How many children she takes care of at a school? It doesn't. Her husband had a four and a half year affair. That's that's really all I care about. And then she was floored at the door by this lady coming up saying, "I've been screwing your husband for four and a half." Years. Okay. I mean, <laughs> well, she has to take her temperature. Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Thank you, Judge. Uh, oh my God. Can you start uh, tell the court what time that you started getting messages from? I've been screaming your husband for four. Years. Um, the call was at nine fifty four, and then the messages were at nine. I'm trying to see what this says on here. Yeah, that's that's tough. I think right it was nine fifty six. And then okay. there was nine photos, or anyway, it was around nine fifty something. I got the nine photos, and then shortly after that, Thanks, I got Gary. the first text. And then the text continued coming through until after one o'clock that day. Okay. And um, at 956, right. can you read that into the record? Read the, the yes. text at 956. It said, I'm sure. Yeah, this has not yet even been entered as evidence. Okay. Your Honor, so how do you write up? Uh, so is this a, um, a correct, true and correct copy? Of yeah, we're going to rewatch the, the entire thing tomorrow, though. Or the text that you received from Ms. Shannon Swanick look, on the look, day look, of December 6th, 2022. Yes. He's, she's got it pulled up on YouTube. Look at that. Look, right there. Okay. And um, is that... She's reading um, the chat. Is that you're taken from your phone? Yes. Okay. And so, Your Honor, I, I would move to accept that this into evidence. It is from her phone. Ms. Wanick is recognized there. She identifies herself talking about, <sighs> oh like you can, when, once we look at the messages, she's referring to the relationship that she had with uh, Ms. Finneran's husband. So it's obvious Ms. Wanick who is leaving these messages. And she's also got her own journal. This is a picture of the journal that's already been introduced into evidence. Um, no objection, Your Honor. And it's admitted. This would be... Defense exhibit or plaintiff's exhibit, plaintiff's exhibit, judge. Sorry. Five. Five. Okay. And could you read the journal entry at that time? Yes. Okay. And could you paraphrase what it more. said for the judge so we can make it quicker? Please. I mean, I've read the journal. I've already admitted it. And he said, okay. Part B. I've read that. So it's, it's, well, there are other pages, Judge. Uh, I don't think yeah, that that's the page. Oh, yeah, okay. so there's multiple pages. So you just saw the one. They just put what Brian's part was. So she first wrote a response. Then she handed it to Brian, and he has his response. Judge, then she has another Judge response. Objection. I do have, I have a question. Miss Finneran uh -huh. was not 
participating yeah, in the last directly, Mr. Davis. That's no, I'm, I object. I'm just saying I don't know how she knows what we showed in the last hearing because she was not supposed to be watching or participating. Senator, how do you know that what I've already looked at? What do you mean the journal entry? How do you know you just said that all we showed was Brian's page, and that was in the hearing. I wasn't in the room and I didn't see it, but I heard something about the heart and the love. And we're in the same home. Okay. It is. I just wanted that if it was. But I was accident. not, I'm not in the same room as him. He's not, I can't see him right now. I don't know if he can hear me. Um if it's it was just, oh he can hear you. Don't if you it was worry. accidental, I understand. Don't um, you worry. Okay. Yeah, I just it, to be honest with you, I knew you're talking about it because something there was about you said you said love me and he said something about heart. So okay. I go ahead. Okay. Okay, so there's three journal entries here. There's one that's written that she sent that she's, well, for, I guess before I go through those nine um, things, can I read the text message that she, yes, she sent these nine pictures and then sent it? You can hold on one second. Okay. Hold on one second. I've got um, Judge Houston here. Okay. So, Ms. Cole, Mr. Woodard. Yes, ma'am. We're here. I'm here, rather. Okay. I'm here. Oh. All right. I'm going to put you two in a breakout room with Judge Houston. She's going to hear your case. And then as soon as I finish with this one, she is going to come back in here and take over while I hear this case for her that is in um, in person. Judge Houston, I'll go ahead and make you a co-host. And I will move uh, those two people to breakout room one. And then you can move yourself to breakout room one. Okay. Yes, Your Honor. Somebody made a comment they didn't like the yes, things that were I'm said here. in this chat. Okay, I'm going to maybe just follow the. I love this chat. This chat's the amazing. Call. Go to breakout room. Will you add me to that breakout room, please? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Well, I think you're a coach. You can go in there. Okay. Best chat in all I the internet. Davis, could you bring those to the top, mm -hmm. please? I'm sorry. And this, this. No, oh, you don't want to compare this is the to first that. page of what you sent me. Yes. Judge, uh, you're a co-host, so you should be able to. It was signed mm -hmm. in blood. And then I was told to go right. to this. Yeah. So if I so anyway, there was the nine pic the nine pictures, like journal. There's the nine things that we'll go through because it's the way it you can see how it goes. It's like non-photo. Okay. So yeah, then but, she after she it's sent that, started. very it was very quickly after there was this message. It says, "I'm sure you recognize his handwriting." Before I burn, delete, and download all IG messages between Brian and I, thought you should read more. Take care. That was at 9:56. So I hadn't looked through all of the nine pictures that had been sent. I just saw that there's this journal entry. Then I see this, and I'm literally like in work have kids in there so i'm trying to like Mario. deal with them thinking what in the world is happening wanting to see exactly what she has sent so then i start going through the journal entry so i see she wrote a journal entry i do see brian's writing to the right and she writes in a, like a response to that third journal entry um and it's talking about Sorry, I'm going to have to make it bigger. Um, do you want me to read them, Your I Honor? Can, a troll. Uh, I mean, I could read. Okay, so you can see it's 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 in the, when I the first time I read it, I was just once again feeling almost like the feeling of her coming to my, like I just like oh my god like this is a lot. There's a lot of detail. Like as my therapist said, an affair is an affair. Objection, Your Honor. Nothing. No hearsay. No hearsay. Okay. Can okay, you? Okay. Well, I'll say it. An affair is an affair. I didn't need to see the movie in my head mm -hmm. of all the details and her fantasy novel of how things took place. Um, the more the as I read them more, I thought, "Wow, this is an interesting person." Um, interesting. Very, She's crazy. Uh, I, I don't know. It was, I, I, I personally could never want to hurt somebody so badly 
to send these things. And as we continue to read the text messages and you see how she said things and worded things, it's very threatening. Okay. She definitely was trying to, you know, upset me at no, just, she had no regard. And as you can see, when she says, this is very therapeutic, and we'll, we'll, as I read them, I don't know what to say. I've never been in a court hearing, so I am not, I'm not trying to be difficult. I just, um, I, I don't know. I think if, if your honor, if you're able to read the journal entries, because I just, they're yeah, making me out to affair, be like, I'm this scorned wife. Deal and I'm out for revenge, that is the last thing I am. I am a drama-free person. I don't do any of this stuff. I don't even have social media. I'm not concerned what other people think. I'm not in this fantasy land of us being a power couple and this and that and, you know, sweaty sex of this and, uh, you know, love making and he looked in my eyes. And I mean, it's like she's, it's like I'm reading a adolescent's diary of their fantasy land. It's okay. Now, uh, just Bizarre. very briefly, Ms. Finneran, uh -huh. um, yes. I will look, I note that on April 18th, at the bottom of that uh, recording, she talks about, um, um, does she, what are the graphic things that she talks about, which were very disturbing? All right. So April 18th, uh, here we go. We met at the punch bar for happy hour. He just played East Lake and something me met. I don't know I'll something in the all dressed up. Start with all. Okay, we're up. all dressed up, both as both looking and feeling like the power couple we are. Ooh. Not able to keep his hands off of me, slipping his fingers inside my vagina and under the table. I loved it. XOXO. <laughs> Okay. So, okay. Oh, Mungus hasn't done entry. that. Gina. The next page, please. Good to see you. Well. Whoo. So let me let me try to kind of bring this in. Okay. Because one, I'm not wanting uh this veteran to have to. Right. Don't stop now. I'm getting excited. I've read them enough. I've read them many times. It's fantastic. Well, you know, and I hope you're angry with it. The right people, but that doesn't really matter. So she's saying your I'm husband. Tell me, I mean, I'm a little more simpler than your husband's a real I piece of crap in Cherokee County. You know, they don't think they waste enough enough down here in the big city. But uh here we go. So I used to say that about the cat count. So thank you, Deborah. Mr. Fenneman, you had an affair. Your side of it is you were kind of coaxed into it because you were drunk and this lady made you go back to her hotel room and forced you into this affair and just kept on and kept on and kept on. And you stayed in this affair for four and a half years. Forced into this affair for four and a half years. Poor man. Now, then you either try to end it or you're like, I'm messing up and you know, I've got my wife, I've got this marriage, I've got kids, I've got grandkids, I've got all this. And you know, when you're married too, and I don't know what, but for whatever reason, y'all break up. So then, you know, a tale as old as time, Miss Swannick goes, you know what? I'm going to the house because I'm going to tell her because I bet you he hasn't told her. Morning. So she finds, she tracks you down, knocks on the door. And unfortunately, your son was standing there and says, I've been banging your husband for four and a half years. And you say, well, you've got to have the wrong house because my husband's over here. He's doing this. He's doing that. Nope. She calls his name. She calls your name. She gets explicit. She says all this. She says all of this stuff in the journal. And of course, you don't know who you're going to hurt the most, her or him or both. Right? Am I, am I almost on line there, Miss Finneran? Am I kind of going down that right expressway? No, oh, I'm sorry. You're saying it. I don't know if I'm. Right, when she yeah, comes to your door and she says, I've been sleeping with your husband for four and a half years, you don't know who you're more angry at right then. Oh, right. no, I, I know I was, like, once I realized it was my husband, I'm angry at my husband. Sure, you're angry and, at both. So here yeah, we go. exactly. Like, the whole and thing is, December I actually the, don't even know what I was at the time. I was, I cannot you imagine. Know. On December the 6th, then she starts texting you. When is the last time she's reached out to you? 
uh, December 28th. So what did, I mean, what, you changed your phone number, you changed your phone. What did she say on December 28th? I didn't, I didn't change my phone number, but, um, Got a new phone. Okay, well, can I just say, your, your honor, can I please, can I please read the text message that she sent? Because I think it's even, it's more telling than the journal entries. The journal entries is just oh. the icing on the cake. Just the extra You're going to tell day. me what it was on December 28th. December 28th was, um, can I reference the stuff or can we pull that the it one up you want to read me? The, the, the December 28th text? The one I really want to read you is the text message that she sent me on December 6th. There was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven text messages that she sent throughout the day. Then those she continued the, the that, next day. Those are the ones that Mr. Davis was sharing screen with. No? So those were the journal entries, but the the text messaging, I think, on that day is it's it's oh, more boy. this is where I find it threatening. I, I, I can read for myself. I got it. Let's see. What is saying? Shannon oh, showed you 680. So that's her, right? Yes. That's her. You're blue or you're green or you're gray? I'm blue. You're blue. You say three's company. She's like, thumbs up. No, no, How no, no. That's not her. That's my husband. That's her calling in. That's actually means nothing. We can move so up. These text I'm, messages are his or yours? No, the phone call. You see, there's a call no, coming I'm in. I'm saying, is that who this is identified by that name? No, that's not. That's a call coming in. The Listen text message to the words I'm asking you. Is this okay. text messages from that person? Sorry, Shannon. the one that the one that was just on the screen. No, it was not. The, the picture that was just on the screen. The text messages, yes, are from Shannon. That's what I'm asking. It said Shannon at the top. Is that those text messages from her? That particular one, no, it's just a call. Okay, pull up ones it. two. Pull up ones two. Miss Aaron, that's the ones I want to see. I don't want anything okay, else to do with him. Yes, please pull up the very first text so I can just start reading the text if you don't mind. That's okay. so I much I want to say right now. Now, is this a text to you? Okay. This a text? No, know what I'm getting. To, yeah, Judge, they're in in a certain. Order. That's that's not that's that is not. Yeah, I'm getting to that in a second. They're all together. That's not a text to you either, is yes, it? Yes, Judge. No, here it comes, Judge. Oh, here it comes. I've got it pulled up. Like this video, me. do me a favor. So oh, you're familiar with the text, to her, Mr. Davis? Yeah. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Sorry. Good. Let Mr. Davis do it. We've gotten to a lot of meat and taters here today, uh, bingo. Very, very meaty. How long do y'all think you're going to I, I can't wait. Okay. Yeah. For tomorrow. This is it. Correct? Do I have the right thing? Yeah. So if you could, if you don't mind, um, Mr. Davis, the the one that's after the, the nine pictures, if we can just go to just the, the, the text messages she actually wrote me that she that were meant just for me. <clears throat> oh, these are so these. Is that okay, a yeah, tattoo? Nine pictures. These yeah, are the keep, texts that keep, continue. If that you day. don't these mind, are, if sure. you don't mind going to the where there's the, the very beginning where there's the nine pictures. Did she get a tattoo then, in honor of this guy? Okay, so that okay here. Okay, so sorry, just so I can. So if we go okay, up on. from here, that's she's the in the gray. Yeah, everything's in the gray. I, I never responded to one thing she ever said. Okay. All so right. All I've of these are one hundred percent from Shannon. I got this one. Go to the next page. Okay. So all right, let's, I'm reading it. Okay, this is the same thing. So at ten o so at ten o two, there's another text message that you can read from her. Got Being it. blocked and cut off by someone you loved. Yeah, you know, ten sixteen. Go ahead. Go uh, ahead. Mr. So Smith. this is all throughout the day. I'm just she's constantly drilling in these messages. Gotcha. And I have a recent cancer diagnosis, so this isn't a time in my young okay, life to mess with. Hold okay. on. Oh, no. Yes. I got it. 1016. Oh, Even worse. And the recent cancer diagnosis time, but it's a mess. And my tattoo on my backside, and it done in California. What is BS? What is, what is that? Brian Brian Shannon, Shannon, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, she got a tattoo for them. She, oh, it's a, make, it's a, it's okay, a clatter well, without the heart. All right, stop. All right, I I mean, this guy must be. Uh... 
haven't talked. May 103. Okay, next. Thank you. Mr. His Baby. lawyer's terrible. By the way, we had sex. We were going home. So this one was fun. This was the next morning. And I literally, after getting those Lots messages, of sex in I the had a bathroom. panic attack. I came home. I called my therapist. I was like, I don't know what's happening. It's, it we'll was read awful. all these tomorrow. I wasn't sure. I was trying to, I almost could not stay at work, but I didn't have anyone to cover the clinic. Okay, hold on, I'm reading. Hold on, I'm reading. Okay, this was the next morning. Hold on, I'm reading all the places they had sex. Next page, Mr. Baby. This is the continuation, Judge. It starts down here. Battery on it, okay. Okay. To point out, Judge, that she keeps talking about her getting the and rooms. sex at a sushi uh, bar, yeah. a sushi okay. restaurant one time. And then they would, then she would send pictures, even in her truck. Right. Talk on the phone. Keep talking. And then at six fifty eight that morning, so I'm getting ready for work. I literally lost it. I, I was just like, I can't do this anymore. I don't know what's happening. Is this I, the last text? No. So okay, then she okay. said, "Well, she's well." This is the last text of that day but in the other text did you see how she said um you know that they like to have anal that they would like she's just giving me all these details and then she's like it's so therapeutic to tell you more i have many beautiful photos of it so i don't i don't know like it just seems like this is for her are there nudes to vent with no regard let me go to the next i i have nothing to do with this relationship i i'm the innocent bystander leave me alone Okay, hold up. Next picture, next one, Mr. I'm not sure what this is. I guess it's a photo that was included. Uh, him and yeah, some former text messages that she sent. Atlanta Falcons players. He played for the Falcons, by the way, and the Eagles. Oh, that's the same from before. And the Seahawks. Yeah, yeah, the only so place in teams then, so in, yeah. that have so birds. Then, she, the last, then I had gone out to California. Eight. I was trying to get help. My therapist said to get a protective order objection objection here so you can't talk about what other people said to okay say. remember so it was, was, you know what i got this black room i got this Stop. i apologize let me, judge. Let me, anybody want to let me read i apologize um, that's okay just let me read brian loves to have sex with other women kudos to you and happy anniversary on december the 28th fantastic move on up mr davis next page that's it that's it this is this is December seventh. I mean, there's more stuff here, but this is the last text. That was the last text. Anything Damn, else you want Brian. Miss Gladden. From this particular thing. Uh, oh, absolutely. This particular Pamela, set of allegedly. texts. Can you go down, just Mr. Davis, so I can check real quick? Sure. Nate, and that's another buddy. picture where she posted on Instagram. Okay. Um, I, I would. That's a, that. I don't know what that is, and I don't think Ms. Gladden can say. You know. Well, no, uh, Ms. Finneran, can you explain to the court what this is? To be honest with you, I think that was meant for like Brian's trial, or sorry, I don't know what to call this, but it says it's a I picture. Think it's the camera that it's got his I mean, it's right, her. but yeah. The reason he had it on here is she keeps changing. Um, See you, Mayor. Little like this picture's from two thousand. 21 and there's pictures then she changes the little comments on social media she adds and takes off pictures she goes public private public private and um she said so fun like whatever this golf term it was so fun and vince carter is a very nice man the other one has his days winky vince face. carter and she changed Objection, that you're two weeks at this point, this vince is not relevant. Garden it's this. a social media post from my client who's allowed to post something on social media. It has nothing to do with Miss Finneran. Judge, I would I, I would like to respond to that. She can post anything on LinkedIn she wants to post. I understand, Your Honor, but she keeps posting and reposting and changing the comments, taunting my client because she's constantly trying to um Taunt, be rude, trying to rub it in. It's a stretch. Uh, my, client, it's a stretch. my client how can't help just... how Miss Finneran feels about an online post. Miss Finneran can choose not to look at it. All right. Anything Come else on. for Miss Finneran? Hang on one second, Judge. Um, I would like to show a picture. Uh, he don't. Uh, she don't care too much for Mr. Finneran either. Mr. Finneran needs to keep his junk in his pants. I think I have the one I'm trying to show. 
I think you pulled it up earlier. I saw it. Yeah. Are you talking about the one where he says it's a fake him. smile? No, Judge. It's one where Miss um, Swanick oh changed her Instagram. What she said on, on Instagram, uh, a message to my client. She actually spoke on Instagram. So she is trying to reach out to her on Instagram. She's not innocently posting to Instagram. It says Aaron Finneran. Uh, and she talks to Ms. Finner and said the last time she reached out to her was December the 28th. Erin, when did she post that Erin uh, Finner and uh, message about you on Instagram? Thank you, T. I can't hear you, Erin. You're on mute. <laughs> this lawyer's terrible. I'm so sorry. I must have hit that. Okay, uh, February 27th, 2023 at 9.25 p.m. Um, her Instagram account was private, but it says on the, um, can you pull pull it up? I have it. Okay, if you can pull it up. It says, Aaron Finneran, please keep seeking the truth from your husband and stop deflecting on me and my family. Thank you. With prayer hands. That's for anybody to see that follows her or she follows or that goes to her page literally says my name and that that statement so that was brought to my attention and so we pulled it up and took a picture i know that it's is she blocks or she can't i just don't know where i'm going to be next when she sends me these pictures it just seems like she's relentless she's trying yep. we don't need a bigger wedge between brian and i i don't know if she thinks like i'm just happy and i'm trying to take i have not contacted Strong her one boy. time i have no interest in contacting her this is between me as i said to her husband this is between as he's reaching out to me this is between me and my husband and her and her husband i am not trying I've not contacted her. I'm not trying to harm her or her family. I don't know what she's talking about deflecting on her family. I literally have not reached out one time. I have not responded to any of this stuff, but this has seriously been a trauma in my life. It has affected me and I don't know how far she's going to go. It's she's talking about blocking and tackling her. You can keep trying to block and tackle me. I'm not blocking and tackling anything. I mean, if Brian wants to call her, he can call her. If they're going to see each other, they're going to see each other. Clearly, for four years, it happened. Like, that message she left, leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Stop. I literally have left her alone. She's not leaving me alone. It's a good idea. So I don't, I'm not some scorned wife that's trying to get out to get Shannon. I need her to leave me alone. I'm afraid she's going to start reaching out to my children. I'm afraid she's going to show up here. I, I think she thinks... If I weren't in the way, if I were out of the way, she and Brian are going to be together. Yeah, she's married you know, as like, well. Listen, I may not be with Brian next week. So have at it if he wants to be with you, but leave me alone. Like, I don't need to see all this. It's yeah. traumatic enough. I don't want her reaching out to me anymore. She's continued to reach out to the both of us. Okay, but I don't, but for nine enough months. about him. Look, Miss Ms. Benner. Well, I think it's because he hasn't very, responded to her. Spinner, 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 spinner. Yes. Take the cotton out of your ear, put it in your mouth, and listen. Oh. When is the last time she reached out to you? Give me a date. I guess you could say two twenty-seven twenty-three. Okay. What is it that you want me to do? I want protection order so she cannot contact me ever again through social media putting so you see this message up here what she put on there i find that very threatening and i've not gone out for her family at all i'm not deflecting i literally have not reached out to her one time and she i mean it's i i started this protection order by the way the end of december it's, this is my second protection order because she hasn't been served. They haven't been able to serve her. I've had to go down to the court twice. So I didn't just start this protection order. And I know, I, I guess I can't say it's, it's hearsay, but I was advised to get the protection see, order by. Don't say by her. 
doesn't matter. Police tell you that's all they ever do. Yeah. Well, person. Judge, I, I think no, my the police didn't. Said, it was my doctor. <clears throat> For her to wait six months and then to reach out and say such horrible things to my client just suddenly means that she's not letting it go. On twenty on the 27th of this year, she's posting things with my client's name in it. What does my client want? My client wants her to not talk to her, not post things about her. Not did you, read, did you her. Ms. Gladden, did you read these cases? Did you read the cases? 348 Georgia F, 344 and 296 Georgia 838. Go ahead. Anybody wants to speak up. I don't know the status of Mrs. Wannick's uh, marriage. I don't know the status of Mr. and Ms. Finneran's uh, marriage. And like she said, they may not be married next week. That's something that Mr. Finneran has to live with for the rest of his life on choices that he made. Choices but he made. Nothing he was forced into. Ms. Finneran, don't even, don't, even, don't even try to take up for him and defend him because I am not. Impressed. I'm not defending him. I'm just okay. wondering why we're talking about him when she's going listen, after me and listen, I need her to leave listen, me alone. Listen, you, nobody. Uh oh. Do me a favor, everybody in this courtroom. Y'all got to promise me y'all will let me talk. Uh oh, you done messed up now. I got a bunch of thumbs up. They're going to let me talk. So, Miss Swanick, guess what? Cheat with me, you'll cheat on me. You ever heard that? Ms. Let's Swanick? say he does. Let's see, she does leave him. Do you not think if you got together with him that he's going to cheat on you too? If he would cheat on this woman that he's been married to, how many years, Miss Fenneran? 28. 28 years, children and grandchildren. Do you not think he would cheat on you so fast to make your head spin? Miss Swanick, you can unmute if you want to answer. It's you okay. Can unmute say yes. yes. Yes, Your Honor, I do feel like I, I, I don't trust him. Okay, well, this woman right here, out of all of this, is I mean, if, is is a is a victim in the in the little thing you got you had going on. It was her. It was her. It was her children. It was her grandchildren. So and uh, and you know what? People have affairs, whatever. Not saying anything about you or whatever, but this lady is the one that's hurt. And how you decided you were going to go up there and they always we're watching the entire them. case tomorrow, All guys, the time, they decide to go tell the other spouse they're sleeping with me. They're doing this. They're doing that. And this is what, you know, and they think that that meant then also they got. It. And there's more women that come in here that fight over one man and it kills me. So many people fight over one man and it's even sadder when they talk about, well, I put money on this. Prison. I put money on it. I picked him up when he got out of prison and they fight over these people. Who cares about him? I don't know who he is. Don't know who you are. Don't care who he is. But I know that there's some children involved in this that could have just lost their one of their parents. Because mm -hmm. if this woman decides to leave him, I'm sure this is the first thing she's going to say. Whatever county they live in, in front of whatever judge they do, is this is what he did. This is what he spent money on. This is what he did. And it's not going to end well for him. I don't care what county it is. He's, he's effed into A. So he's a grown man. And she's grown too. But you need to stop reaching out to her. Leave her alone. Her and her kids, leave them alone. Don't destroy this woman's life already any more than Mr. Fetterman has destroyed her life. And he has. They dated since when she said there were 15. And he tossed that up in the air and kicked it. Whatever football position he claimed to play. I don't know. I don't like football. Yeah, man, and I'm fire. Tight end, tackle, back, I don't know, whatever you are. Whatever you were, I don't care. But it doesn't impress me. So you destroyed this woman's life. You threw it up in the air and didn't care about it. And now you've got this lady who can't get over the heartbreak, who now is hammering at her, and I'm sure at first she probably hoped you would leave her and come running back to her. But to me, neither one of these women, you're not worth having either one of them, honestly, but if y'all work it out, I hope that y'all do. I really hope that y'all do, but Miss Swannick, you will have to leave this woman alone. This man asked for it. Miss, oh, he I'm, says, I'm, I didn't tell her I loved you, but I did you. Oh, Miss Swannick. That doesn't mean love. The heart, I don't know what it means, but it's a little heart. Yes, Miss Gladden. 
Oh, yeah, Judge, I, I didn't understand if you were saying Ms. Swanick or my client. So I just. So, I mean, yeah. no, Mr. Finner, he, he deserves whatever happens yeah. to him. I mean, she's not stalking him anymore. Maybe. She's going to go spend $10,000 or whatever it costs to go to a golf tournament that he's at. And hope she has better things to do with $10,000 and spend it on a golf tournament to be around a man who don't want to be around her. Right. Mr. Davis could use that $10,000 in attorney's fees because him and his husband are trying to have a child. Then you right. put away college money for his child. <laughs> Judge, I have two in college right now, so I understand that theory very well. Yeah, Judge, and, and that, that was the whole point, I think, was that this was meant to harass and intimidate my client, and she wanted it to stop. You Judge, know, she didn't did. ask to be contacted after seven okay. months. Go ahead, Mr. Davis. What are you I don't know where we are here procedurally. I'm happy to provide a cross-examination. I will be making another motion for a directed verdict. You just pointed to my cases. And, and I just want to say here, I agree. I recognize that Ms. Finneran was an, un, all of this was new to her. But the fact that that discomfort, that panic, that feeling she had does not support a stalking protective order. We went seven months between May to December and then we filed the TPO. There's been no evidence that it was. He must be. Because my client probably wished, and she'd have to testify that she didn't send them. Sure, but still, the burden for a stalking protective order has to show a pattern of harassing, intimidating behavior met to put someone in reasonable fear for their safety. My client came to the house, and that was it. And there's just not been this pattern. And also, I think it's really important to look at that Chan versus Ellis case. My client can post whatever she wants, and respectfully, I don't know that the client, the court can even say, no, you can't post things. But Miss Miss Finneran said she doesn't have social media, which means someone showed her this. So just like the respondent in the Chan case, the court reversed that TPO because Miss Ellis either had someone send her something or she went and intentionally looked for it because Miss mm. Finneran doesn't have social media. So she can block my client. And she can choose not to look at things, but the but the burden again hasn't been met for a stalking protective order here. Mr. Just Davis, hasn't. Ms. Gladden, we're both yes. going in the breakout room right now. What now, y'all? Go in the breakout room. Thank you, right now. Okay. Both of us. Yes, okay. you and Mr. Davis. All right, they're going to go talk about it for a second. Don't talk it over. They're going to talk it over. There's old Brian, boy. Look at him. There's a two right there. His wife and his mistress. The top and the bottom. I see the wife got up and walked off. That's good. Brian's uh, in the TARDIS, it looks like. All right, so a lot, a lot, a lot going on here. Brian, four years with Shannon up here. Shannon, you know, I know a lot of people are like, oh, she's a skank. Understood. I got that part. And Shannon, we, we forget to, Shannon is also married. So Shannon is a married woman who obviously has a lot of free time on her hands. But she's out messing with Brian at all these uh, different things, having sex on golf courses. Uh, yeah, I can do that. I just got to find them. There's like 185 people I got to go through that are blocked. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to come back and say no TPO. We're going to find out. That's just my guess. Do you think uh, the wife is going to be able to get this TPO against Shannon? Drop it in the, the comments. What's Brian doing? Is he rubbing his crotch on the phone? I can't tell, but this guy is a horn dog. And for if they're going to sit here and tell me that he hasn't messed around on his wife ever, and this is the first time he's ever dipped his pen in someone else's ink, I don't believe it for a second. But that's just my personal opinion. I could be wrong. He's allegedly a, an honest guy that would never do that kind of thing. I don't believe it. I'm sure in Brian's mind, somewhat, he's like, yeah, man, look at me go. And I'm going to say this. 
what a horrible idea to try and get this TPO because this is something that kind of could have been kept under wraps. And she talked about how it's embarrassing to have this on social media where she's getting tagged in a picture. But you're sitting here now, here you are on YouTube. In this case, having to everybody hearing everything your husband did, everything that this lady said to you. And now here we are, you know, if you're in that point, you know, if, if that was so embarrassing, this, that, and the other, what is this? This is a way bigger audience that her social media would have ever got. I'm uh, going to come back with it. Yes. You think she filed for the wrong type of TPO? Hmm. Hmm. Not sure why I don't see all the chat bingo. I, I don't either. Maybe because some people are over on We Got a Case and some people are over on Queen's Bishop Show. That'd be my guess. You've been uh, being cheated on is horrible. That's earth shattering, I'm sure. And I wouldn't wish that on anybody. I feel for the wife. And I feel like she still might leave him. Oh, I just saw him in the background. All right, let's see what's happening. Okay, Miss Wannick, Miss Finner, and Mr. Finner, Miss Wannick, Mr. Davis is going to have a chat with you. Leave this woman alone. Just leave her alone. And if you, you know, if you think of it like, oh, she got the man. She got a man who cheated on her for four and a half years. Woo! You call that first prize? I don't. But she has children and she has grandchildren. And what she chooses to do and try to make of it, that is up to her. That's completely up to her because she's got a lot more to think about than just a flame. So that's up to her. Whatever choice she's making is her choice. She's not your friend. She doesn't want to be your friend. She doesn't want your sympathy. She doesn't want a hug. She doesn't want any of that that you offered her. Leave her alone. Just leave her alone. And Mr. Finneran, leave him alone. I hope he's begging and crawling and crying and being absolutely honest and not the phrase that people use as honest as I could be with Ms. Uh, Finneran right now and making up for everything he has done. I don't know that he ever can, because you have a lot riding on this, Mr. Fenner. And Ms. Fenner, I wish you the best. I absolutely wish you the best. And Mr. Fenner, you stop showing her stuff. You, you know, if this woman reaches out to you, you need to tell her to stop so you can block her. Y'all can block her. And Ms. Swinnick, don't. Why post on social media? He, Why? Why? Leave her name out of it. You know, and think about this there. How many children do you have, Ms. Uh, Fenneran? Two? Three. I have four and two grandchildren. Four. four. Four children that we could sooner or later be able to go out here in social media bill and it's out there forever. And they get to look and say, wow, look at look what my dad did. Look at what my granddad did. And I don't want that for those kids. You guys have your adult fight between yourselves. I don't care. But leave it out of these kids and these grandchildren's hands. Bit. So, Miss Swannon, they come back. If Miss Miss Finneran comes back again because you're reaching out to her and taunting her and being that, oh, I'm hurt because he left me. I will put a TPO on you so fast it'll make your head swim. And I can promise you, this other judge sitting right down here in the corner of this screen would do it too. I'm telling you to leave them alone. Let these two work on whatever's left of their marriage. Mr. Davis and uh, Ms. Gladden are going to send me a couple of short paragraphs about fees. I'll look over those and I'll make a decision. Judge Houston right now is going to take over. Judge Houston. And trust me, leave her alone. Anything else you want to say, Ms. Wannick? Anything you don't understand that Ms. Finneran does wants nothing to do with you. She doesn't want to hear it. She's got all the gory details. She doesn't want to hear it again. Yes, Your Honor, I have no intention to ever talk to either one of them ever again. I also have two teenage girls and they are aware of what's happened and, and in my actions and I've taken accountability for that. And I would like to be left alone as well and All not right. have people talking about me and, and, and my good reputation too. Thank that you. Stop putting stuff on social media. Her Say good children, reputation. Children, everybody's children. Okay. What's. Thank you all. And uh, Ms. Finneran, same thing. She reaches out to you again. What? Come back. And like I said, that'll be it. Her stellar reputation. Okay. Will we get those dismissals across Odyssey? 
Yo, Will, uh, I think Miss Free's child was um, sick, but we'll get him. I think Miss, uh, I'll have Dr. Taylor or E5. Dr. Taylor, I've made Judge Houston the host. Anything else? Yes, Miss Black. I just needed an email address, Your Honor, that for, you wanted me to send the pair the inform the paragraphs to for the about the fees that you. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh and, uh, boy, Mr. Mr. Davis, can you email between her and give her my email address so I don't have to try to figure it out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, I, can, I can do that. And then should I copy Ms. Freed or whatever we're saying? Ultimately? Sure. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Thank you, Judge Houston. And the oh. two o'clock should be in there. What a joke. All right. That's all right. All after two o'clocks, correct? Right. And did you finish the uh, the other case? Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Y'all stay healthy. And Okay, we're going to pause it right there because we're not going to jump into another case or anything like that right now. We'll uh, we'll leave that for another time. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to watch the entire case, top to bottom. We're going to hear all of Brian's testimony, all the juicy details on that side of the fence. I'm kind of sad we didn't get to see Shannon testify. I am. But, you know, it is what it is. Shannon definitely... Uh, has a hell of a bad rep. And as far as me going to sleep last night, I missed nothing. I saw what happened. I didn't miss anything. It was midnight here. I live on the East Coast. Leather and Lashes. She's on the monetary monorail. And she's the caboose. Why? Because I said so. And I've got a lot to do. Got a chase coming up. At 4.05, we got a chase. Uh, Thirsty Friday. Why? Because Mikey didn't want to have to do work again after we didn't use the work I did yesterday. So, in case you were wondering, there was another chase after I was done. And he got away. Surprise, surprise, surprise. I want to thank everybody. Make sure you're back here tomorrow at noon Eastern time when we watch this entire case, top to bottom. We read all those text messages. We find out the entire scope of this stuff we may have missed that we couldn't because this wasn't live. We uh, because it was live, we couldn't pause. It. So make sure you're back for that. Fred Franklin, Amber, Pike, slash free flush up, cheering off, Snoopy also on that free flush of bandwagon, and Leather and Lashes, heading it up, I'm about to dive deep into that and find out what's going on, I'll get it taken care of, who's handsome, welcome back my friend, hope you had a great trip. Just in time to hear me say au revoir, goodbye, adios, sayonara, arrivederci. Ah, take a drink. It's Thirsty Friday. Get it going. I love you guys. I'm going to be back real soon. So don't you dare worry. All right? All right. Until then, I hope Brian's getting his nuts stepped on right now. Who loves you, baby? I gotta barbecue your ass, Evelette!